Hello all, welcome to Global Offensive Hacker Associate Community. I welcome to another hacking episode of Hacker Associate. In this hacking episode, we are going to learn about Bluetooth levels, okay, and we talk about Bluetooth security. So generally, okay, like as you know already, like how many people using Bluetooth devices in our daily life? In even okay, I am also one of them. Every day, okay, like I'm using my Bluetooth devices. Like even you are also using like uh, headphone, mobile phone. Also, we have Bluetooth. Now we have Apple watches. Any gadgets, okay, you name it. There is a Bluetooth software, okay, installed there, and we are using for communication purpose. For example, let's say I want to play the music, then I'm okay, like uh, connecting via Bluetooth, or maybe if I am driving, okay, like uh, I want to play the song, then again I'm connecting via Bluetooth. so you can see like we are surrounded by bluetooth devices so now this is the advantage okay like for attacker so because each and every gadget such okay, have a bluetooth capabilities and hacker okay will little trick it and then okay he is able to steal the data so this is very very important okay you just secure yourself from the attacker so how the attacker able to attack on your bluetooth devices so this i'm talking about today so first we would understand okay like before going to the attack first we understand okay like what are the levels okay in the bluetooth devices so when you when you talk about bluetooth levels so your bluetooth level is dependent on its level and version here are the level you need to know about the first one okay we can say is called level 1 so level 1 bluetooth device can pair with any bluetooth device and definitely by the uh, you can see the definition it is level 1 bluetooth device can pair with any bluetooth device it means there is no security so regardless of the version or level without needing the owner verification the device poses the greatest security threat to their personal data level 2 device do not pair without pin verification although the risk here is not an advance as it is with the level 1 device there is still is a room for criminal to infiltrate your data level 3 device have a better security as compared to the level 2 so level 3 device use swap security code to pair leaving no gap for security breach however coding error could occur and leave your device vulnerable so last time i think we talk about okay like architecture tech right? and uh, like we just focus on hardware side focus on uh, the designing part it means like hardware level flow to monitor monitor application level flow monitor operating system level flow side right? so it means okay like if any like coding error okay then it will leave okay your device vulnerable the fourth one the level 4 device have a stronger and complex authentication protocol than all other level so now i'm talking about general software vulnerabilities so before going to the general software vulnerability let understand okay like modern bluetooth enabled device such as raspberry pi 4 uses bluetooth 5 which has a way superior security feature than all the four level above the new software doesn't have a zero vulnerability but it is safe to say that it is near perfect Okay, so this is about okay, like Raspberry Pi 4, and now if we talk about general software vulnerabilities, so first okay, in our list is called the blue snarfing. So blue snarfing happen when a hacker pair with your Bluetooth device without your knowledge, and it still will compromise your personal data. Second, what can what they can do is okay, they can uh, change okay like the name okay, we can say the misspelling okay, and then okay they will broadcast okay your device and then when you connect it and then they can steal the data. so this technique we call as evasive dropping so right now okay you can see okay like uh, this is my apple watch okay and i am always using this okay bluetooth devices okay and uh, this de- this particular de- uh, apple watch using a bluetooth for communication purpose so i can uh, like see the email i can send sms anything i can do what if okay in between okay someone will come and he can like shut down my bluetooth device or we can set a denial of service of attack then i am not able to receive the email i am not able to make a call this is a powerful part okay in this bluetooth attack anyone can uh, from outside okay he can implement denial of service of attack evasive drop the connection pair okay your bluetooth device so when you talk about evasive dropping so bluetooth encryption in level 2 and 4 is designed to keep evasive dropper away but their imperfect coding and outdated protocol sometimes leave unpatched security holes making your data vulnerable so when you talk about evasive dropping so evasive dropper trick you into pairing with the device by misspelling the name of the device your device trust as i mentioned to you earlier for example name the device the same name you have turned your office printer so when you are searching the printer using your phone bluetooth it is a hacker bluetooth you find to connect with the first open pairing they can access to your entire device 
always ensure that bluetooth device uses the latest software and protocol also counter check the name of the device you connect with even if you trust it don't ignore any misspelling then the crashing part okay like anyone can uh, like perform a denial of service okay on this related stuff like on bluetooth and then game finish okay like we're not able to receive the call and other things so hacker can crash your device and start denying your service such as messaging and all call services they can even block your phone from receiving email then your battery or even block commands it is important that you switch off your bluetooth when you are not using it this is a very, very important part okay just not this point and also like in the next video i'm going to teach you like how to perform a bluetooth scanning it means how to perform pen testing on bluetooth devices virus and worms so this happen when you download malware from counterfeit website and apps many smartphone user have fallen in this trap where they misspell web url or download unverified app and as you know the property of malware and the virus and worm it means like once it is installed in your computer then anyone can control locally like your system the last one we call is a bluetooth headsets vulnerability so hacker can open up bluetooth handset and even drop on the conversation around you this include and call you mac the face to face conversation you mac when the headset is still on and even the third party conversation it is important that you disconnect your bluetooth headset when you are not using it the safety the countermeasures so what you can okay use okay for security so rejecting pairing request from unknown device don't trust any of the like uh, request okay from unknown device keeping your firmware updates at all the times buy a device that has sufficient security features this all okay like uh, you can remember it okay and you can secure your bluetooth device i hope this video is informative for you thank you for watching the video have a great day thank you